Today, you will be learning about connotation and denotation. We will examine the meaning of the words, explore examples, and recognize their importance in writing. Let's begin. Writers have always been sensitive to the emotional power of words. Words and images and text can work on more than one level. All words convey a literal meaning, the specific meaning found in a dictionary. This is denotation. Many words, however, stir up emotions or suggest associations. This is called connotation. Writers who wish to create a more emotional response in their readers would choose words with a stronger connotation. Let's examine some examples. Think about this line. You may live in a house, but we live in a home. If you were to look in the dictionary, house may mean a dwelling place. Although this is the correct meaning, the author has a deeper intention. What words or images come to mind when you think of home? Aside from the strict dictionary definition or denotation, many people associate such things as comfort, love, security, or privacy with the home, but do not necessarily make the same associations with a house. If you think about it in this manner, a home is more than a dwelling place. The various feelings, images, and memories that surround a word make up its connotation. Although both house and home have the same denotation or dictionary meaning, home also has many connotations. By selecting home versus house, a reader can learn the author's attitude toward his subject matter. I think I know what you said, but what exactly did you mean? Let's look at another example. Consider a snake. The denotation or a literal definition of the snake could be a limbless reptile with a long scaly body. Yet snake has many other connotations. Snake could mean a person who is a snake in the grass and is sneaky and malevolent. Depending on the author's attitude, they may select a word that has a positive, neutral, or negative connotation. For example, the synonym scrawny and slim have similar denotations, thin or not having much weight. But most people would rather be called slim than scrawny. Let's examine another example. Therefore, connotations can add shades of meaning and may affect how a reader approaches a subject. While serpent is literally a snake, the word serpent is usually associated with evil. In today's society, politician has somewhat negative associations, while statesman sounds more positive. All three expressions refer to the same people, but they trigger different associations in a reader's mind. A vagrant is often seen as a public nuisance, while a homeless person may have fallen into hard times. Think about how these words can be used to affect the meaning of a sentence. The term vagrant may be used by a politician trying to enact a new law. A teacher may use a term with no fixed address to describe a student in her class. A news reporter may discuss the increasing homeless population on an evening segment. Although the terms have similar denotations or literal meanings, the connotations of the words alter the meaning entirely. It is important to understand the varying connotations as it helps you better understand the author's or speaker's attitude. Now that you have spent time learning about connotation and denotation, please return to your module and complete your Let's Practice activity.